subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel e2 speed test don't those cameras look rather similar let's go ahead and begin with the boot up test in three two one and let me go ahead and zoom out here in just a second. Now, the reason I am making this video here is because the iPhone 7 Plus, you know, at Apple is about 669 bucks for a 32 gig. The BlackBerry Key 2 is 649 bucks for a 64 gig. Now, these are identically price ranged, you know, they're in the same price range here. So depending on whether you want iOS or Android, these could be, you know, two options for you in the 650 price range right now. So you've seen the iPhone 7 Plus was the clear winner when it comes to at least booting into the device. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and see which one does have a faster fingerprint scanner. Now the BlackBerry Key 2's fingerprint is embedded within the space bar. I like that trick. It kind of, you would never know there's a fingerprint there. Whereas the iPhone 7 Plus fingerprint is right down there. So let's go ahead and see which one is quicker. Three, two, and one. And you can see that's the BlackBerry Key 2. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. And you can see BlackBerry Key 2 again. Second gen touch ID for the 7 Plus. And again, three, two, one so the blackberry key 2 has a little bit of a faster animation a little bit of a faster unlock time when it comes to that fingerprint getting in also you do have face unlock for the blackberry key 2 which you don't have on the iphone 7 plus Okay, so in terms of software, you can see the 7 Plus runs iOS 11.4, and that is the official. And over here, we're running Android 8.1.0 Oreo on this device. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the speed test portion of this video, the application portion anyway. We do have three gigs of RAM on the iPhone 7 Plus, six gigs of RAM for the BlackBerry Key 2, an Apple A10 Fusion chip, and a Snapdragon 660 over here, mid-range processor for the BlackBerry Key 2. Let's go ahead and get into the calendar, three, two, one. And you can see that's the iPhone 7 Plus to get things started. Coming home here, let's go into the clock. And you can see that the BlackBerry Key 2 is definitely a competent performer, even with its mid-range CPU. Let's go into calculator. And you could see there goes the 7 Plus. And let's go into settings. And that's the BlackBerry Key 2. Let's go into Instagram. And Instagram is first for the BlackBerry. Yes, first on the BlackBerry Key 2. Let's go into Twitter. And you could see Twitter takes the win on the right over the 7 Plus. And let's go into uh, Snapchat. If we can get home here, Snapchat, three, two, one. And you can see BlackBerry is ready to get you in there first, but we all know the Snapchat camera on iOS is a little bit better. Let's go into WhatsApp. And you can see that would be the BlackBerry Key 2, getting a little bit of notifications there. Let's go into YouTube and see which one can get into the video service first. And that is on the right. It should be. It is a Google Android phone. Let's go into the Netflix. And you can see Netflix is ready to watch movies first on the left. And you probably would rather watch movies on the left as this has the three by two aspect ratio. Probably not the best for media consumption. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see Amazon is open first on the right. Man, this is some nice performance for being not the flagship level Snapdragon 835 or 45. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay first on the right on the BlackBerry key two so coming home let's go into jetpack joyride here's where i expect the key two to lose because apple devices just really crush it in gaming and you've seen it did it there but the blackberry held its own there at least in that casual game let's go into dead trigger two something that will require a little bit more power and you see the seven plus way ahead there on that game but the blackberry key two not bad for a mid-range or at least a mid-level priced device here and you could see a seven plus way ahead there on dead trigger but you can play games on the BlackBerry, something that probably wouldn't have ran so great back in the day. Let's go into Mario Run and see how fast Mario Run can open up on both devices and which one will go there first. That's the BlackBerry. Let's hit tap to begin on both of these. And we're gonna go into the first level here once we get into the app. So the iOS device actually caught up and seems to be going a little bit faster now. And yes, so we're getting in. So it looked like it was loading first for the BlackBerry, but then iOS caught back up and it got a little faster. So let's go ahead and see which one can actually load the game to play in the first stage. Let's hit OK. And iOS a little bit ahead there. So definitely, again, I think overall it's pretty close, but iOS was the win because actually playing that tour or that single stage, the first world was the iPhone 7 Plus. Let's go into Slither. 
and see which one can open slither first and slither is open on the left so gaming again to the iphone but seriously pretty good gaming performance and load times for the blackberry key too like i say most blackberries in the past you would never even think about gaming on there you know it's got a uh, keyboard on it so it's not going to be the best experience but you can still do it if you want to on the key too let's go into video shop and you can see that is open on the left first coming home let's go into geekbench and that's the left okay so let's go into speed test and you can see speed tests is similar. I think that might have been the key too. I might have been wrong. Let's go into Chrome. And you can see that is on the right. Let's go ahead and just check out ESPN 321. And you can see browsing on the same Wi-Fi network should be rather similar. Uh, it's a little smoother to browse on the iPhone 7 Plus. You got more screen space. And uh, you can scroll with the keyboard here on the key too. That's pretty neat. So if you don't want to get your finger in the way of the content, that's pretty cool. But the overall browsing experience is a little faster and smoother on the iPhone 7 Plus. So you've seen in this first round of applications that in gaming, the 7 Plus was faster. The BlackBerry Key 2 on a few apps, social media specifically, and a couple of apps up here, definitely took some rounds there. So overall, I would say pretty close performance between these two, but the 7 Plus takes a little bit of a more powerful lead because of the gaming, which will require more power on the device. So I still think the 7 Plus is a little faster. Let's get into the multitasking now. Okay, so let's quickly run through the apps. I'll start with the 7 Plus and you should see pretty excellent performance with loading these applications it does very well here it's got three gigs of ram that's plenty for you know the way optimized the optimized ios is so you can see nothing's really going to reload for the 7 plus except for youtube because you know it's got to reload all those videos and it's internet based whatsapp let's see snapchat let's go into twitter and instagram and instagram a slight reload so okay instagram settings i thought the 7 plus was going to hold everything let's go into clock and calendar so excellent ram management here for the 7 plus probably not the best on any smartphone but still really good for being from 2016. let's go ahead and check out the blackberry key 2 six gigs of ram doubles the ram but can it be quicker or better at holding these apps than the 7 plus and so far it looks like it might be slither no reloads there let's go into mario run held that dead trigger held that just fine what about jetpack and held that just fine as well just a little slow to open but it's still holding those apps amazon let's go into netflix and again you could just lower the animations down if you want faster animations youtube held on the blackberry better than the iphone 7 plus instagram excellent ram management here for the blackberry key too and this is what you need when you're going to be doing your productivity based emailing and all kinds of stuff excellent ram management there for that six gigs of ram for the blackberry key too nothing really reloaded here okay guys so the final geekbench scores are in and you could see that the iphone 7 plus is definitely a win in the single core a crushing win there in the multi-core not so much but still even with three gigs of ram it still has a higher multi-core score so that's what the geekbench scores are if you care about those okay guys so that wraps it up between the iphone 7 plus and the blackberry key 2 speed test what you learned here is that the blackberry key 2 is not bad performance for a blackberry the iphone 7 plus i feel still punches a little bit above it when it comes to the performance due to mostly that gaming but in the day-to-day -day, the blackberry will be enough so it's really going to come down to the other factors between these two i can tell you one thing if you're looking for a great camera the 7 plus has got this phone beat 10 times over this is not a great camera on this device but if you want to see a full should you buy comparison between these while throwing some camera samples go ahead and comment that down below if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing click that like button for me and if you're new here consider subscribing for more nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you